Okay, we're gonna make a bunk bed for, this is actually under $100, the cost that this twin cost me, uh, but it'll be around 100 bucks to build this. I've done some pre-cutting, but I'm gonna show you how uh, I cut some of the boards. Uh, the links aren't super important. Um, they're not precision, there's not precision furniture maker and it's being made out of two by fours and uh, two by sixes. It's not real pretty. I've had one of these at my camp for about a, two years now and had high school football players sleeping on them and they don't move. They're, they're bulletproof. You'll see I use two by fours for the base of the beds, the mattresses. All right, almost everything has been cut to length. I've only got to cut one board two by four, which is over on the floor over here, um, to, uh, I gotta split it for a cleat to put the other boards on. So there's four cut at 65 inches long. That's gonna be my legs. There are four two by sixes cut at 44 inches long, which are gonna be um, the ends of the bed it's gonna be on the on the headboard part and I've got four cut at um, I think those are 75 yeah 75 inches long which 75 inches is for the full size and twin and the two by fours the four two by fours there are also for the headboard part which you'll see I've got to notch out the legs and put those in them and then here are the 18 uh, ones that I cut to 38 inches and that's for the bottom of the bed. Uh, all right, that's all the lumber that you're gonna need cut. Um, it's a lot of cutting. It took me, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour to cut it with a chop saw and a table saw. You can do this with a skill saw. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. Uh, it may not take you longer if you're good at it. The only thing I didn't mention are the bolts. For a full-size bed, I usually buy 16 of these. For a twin, I'm only gonna use one at each corner. Uh, this goes into the leg and attaches the stringer uh, to the leg. I also use deck screws with that. All right, this is probably the most time consuming part of the build. We're gonna make the legs, which is this piece right here. And oh, you see it over here on this side of the side view. Um, I've got them marked uh, at different at different heights on each side. This is a height I used at one point, and it was really tall. If you got eight foot ceilings, you don't want to make them this big because there's a ceiling fan in that room, and you have to really avoid the ceiling fan. We're going to use these dimensions on this side. So the first bottom of the first two by six is going to be at 10 inches. Then we're going to go 14 inches above that and place a two by four, 12 inches above that one, and do another two by four and 12 inches above that we're going to put a two by six again these are where the beds are going to the mattresses are going to lay this will give them a way to climb up the end of the bed uh, it just looks kind of cool but we do if you look over here why it's so time consuming is we mortise those boards in so they're secure give you a little closer look at what i did i just marked where i'm going to cut out so that's where i'm going to notch out so that my board, these boards will inset and they'll, they'll be flush like they show on this side of the drawing. All right, here's the finished leg. I got four of these made. All right, that's one headboard completed. Okay, I want to show you what the two by twos are used for. Actually, I miscounted. You need an extra two by four to split because you need four of them and you attach it to the two by six like this. And actually, I've made three of them. Here's the, okay, those are the four stringers. Those are the four stringers I've made. They're ready to go. The bed is basically finished except for the assembly at the location. That'll come later at my friend's house. Great guy, he's uh, taking a foreign exchange student from uh, another couple that's having to move. So I'm making this bed for him for free. And there are the supports for the mattresses over here. There's 18 of them, nine for each stringer. 
So these stringers will go on the side of the bed and you'll see how that assembles later. All right, so we got a good helper here. Smile and wave the camera, you're gonna be on TV or on YouTube. All right, these are the cross members. We put the bottom ones on and we're about to mount the top ones. All right, these are the lag bolts. We screw these in temp, the cross members in temporarily with two wood screws and then lag them and then bolt them in. Like Show them how you do it, Christian. I'm already done, dude. I work fast. <laughs> All right, finished product. With me. Without the mattresses on it. You see how it's still on What do you think? The winner. <laughs> And you can see with a. Very bolted through.